Hello there, pumpkin pie. We are crypto's juiciest news. Once again, waiting for this Bitcoin to do a move. It's at $43,000. We have Roca Negra's assets under management. Mm, I know you like the ass. You will only create conflict. Don't you, friends? We're going to crank it. Because, I mean, look at this. This is the total crypto market cap. It is still around this zone. Now, I have this golden box of friendship just because of the FIB level. If you extend out the FIB, you'll see this macro 50 to 61% zone. That's where I think we're all heading. Now, isn't it beautiful? Because Bitcoin has already hit its 61% zone, but these haven't. So if we get there, that whole industry, that's where I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? We probably will see... A lot of euphoria. I know, it's crazy. You're like, how on earth can we be euphoric there? Yeah, man. It's just, it is what it is, friends. We're getting, you just, do you want to learn the easy way or the hard way? It's a family-friendly show. I know you like a hard, I've just told you, the cycles are diminishing. People are buying altcoins earlier and earlier because they're learning each cycle. And people don't have $900 in an altcoin anymore, man. You have people with literally four and a half million dollars in hex. You see, people coming in, they're doing fifty-five thousand dollar clips in some of these coins. You were not seeing that before. These people are around, and they just the act as gravity. It is what it is. You just got to accept this lower, lower return. But hey, accept it or acknowledge that I'm your friend in the comment section. I love all your comments, friends. I always tell you, you can cheat instead of putting your $5,000, what if you could see the future and say, my gosh, it might not go that full distance. It might not go 100x. Maybe it only goes 30x. So I don't need 5K. I need 15K. As we leave this cheap price zone, though, the opportunity to do this will get smaller and smaller. Now, this is the Bitcoin chart, friends. It's $43,000. You see this red daily super chain? I know I've reported it on quite a bit, but look what I did last time. Last time I did this, all right? Now, this was exiting the bear market. The first time it flipped red, this was the USDCD pegging, and then we just reversed back up. So this was an extreme event. Flip red and go back up. The next time we flipped red up here, though, look what happens. We stall out for quite a while. So it pulls back into the 21 EMA, but it just hovers around up, down, up, down. Up. But then, look, eventually comes back down. Now, here's the thing, man. If you look at this chart, as my baby doll, you look at this chart, you're like, oh, this doesn't look bad at all. Guys, guys, girls, pups and squirrels, we all remember how vicious it was there. Yeah, it felt real bad, friends, because, you know, here, the corrupt SEC came to take on crypto. This is the corrupt SEC bottoming out altcoins. They attacked Cardanzo here, Soldana, everybody. They just started attacking everyone, corrupt SEC. And then this green was Roca Negra's ETF filing right here. So you see this, just this poopy stuff happens. It just pulls in. And this was vicious, man. I know, I just remember that. Everyone was... Losing their mind, it was May, but it's all part of the four-year cycle. I remember reporting, I was like, man, I know old coins suck, but that's what old coin cycle parties. Because, you know, this is what happened, Vince. So you, you don't remember the pain here. Why? Well, this is where Pulse Chain launched in May. You see this? Pulse Chain launched in May here, but by the time June came, it was like really, really bad. This is the Pulse X chart, just to show you, right? This was May. And look, by the time June arrived, friends, June here, look at this. We were down from the top. We had already down dropped 75%, man. Look how fast things move, friends. This is why it's 75% drop in nine days. Man, that's disgusting. You lost with me, by the way, with me. Obviously, didn't sell anything. We lost 75% in nine days. I've just showed you how fast... These dog shit altcoins drop, friends. I don't care what they are. 75% down, and you honestly want to tell me that you're going to hold your whole bag because you really know 300x is coming. And if we're up 30x and Bank X is now worth like 190 million and Rackham's worth 1.8 billion, you're going to say, like, no, nah, I trust these guys to keep holding and not cap the rally. 
Oh, come on, man. Really? I'm trying to help you, friends. I'm just trying to help you, man. I'm trying to help you. I'm bullish. I'm bullish. I love you all. I'm bullish. 75% drop in nine days. Come on, man. Come on. You know, Hex in the last cycle, same as every other coin, by the way, in 60 days, they were down 70%. 60 days. So worst case, nine days. Best case, 60 days. So, you know, what, that's, isn't that crazy, friends? Literally, you can have $300,000 in your portfolio and you know in your mind, oh, it's going to do another three to four X. We've got plenty to go. It's just getting started, right? We've got another, another year to go of this, wherever it is. But your next stop, you have 300K literally in, in, it could be nine days. In nine days, you've got 75K and it's over. Nine days. Best case, in 60 days, you've got 75K and it's over. Now, you were dreaming of that one million. But now your mind is anchoring the 1 million and you just watch it go from 300 to 50, 200, 175. And then we just become everyone in cope mode saying, don't worry, it's going to come back. It's going to come back. Absolutely. This can't be the end. Oh, man. I just don't want us to relive these memories of when things come out. That's why I look, man. What are you meant to do? What are you meant to do? You just got to accumulate as much as you can, friends, and don't waste your time taking these low-risk restaking narrative and airdrop farming and all this other stuff. That's not the way to go. And good news though, great news. 2 billion Pulsex has been bought up again. Another drunken Michael Saylor purchased, total 3.34% gone. I mean, you love to see it, friends. You love to see new custom domains, wow, with GoPulse. Yeah, so friends, yeah, people, it's like, it's, it's tough for everyone to see. But yeah, these Pulse Chain, the names, they're great. They're just like the, the obviously, the, it's called ENS, Ethereum Name Service, whatever it is on Ethereum. It's, all it is is just giving your address a, a name and then people like can like buy them. It's kind of like real estate. It's like trying to buy, you know, Coca-Cola website back in the, the early 90s, but they're not a good reward, return on investment at all. It's, it reminds me of this staking and airdropping thing. It's like, okay, you find the one dude who fluked it and then you ignore the 499,000 people who could not purchase that or be told to purchase that. Okay, so it is what it is. It's like flipping NFTs. And, and 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 these, they just basically help if you want to send money around. But look, honestly, I'm not even that bullish on these, friends. I'm telling you right now, this sounds like a load of shit. It sounds like opportunists who did it. Now, what I'm saying is I'm pretty uh, – how unpopular I am is I'm actually going against – Lord Vitalik himself with his 4,000 IQ. He made Ethereum name service pump 50% in like six seconds when he tweeted about it. He made, like, oh, we need them, we need them. But when did he tweet about it, friends? He tweeted about it at the bottom of ETHBTC at the end of December of last year, just a few a month and a bit ago. It was when ETHBTC is crashing. So Vitalik came, he did, tweeted positive about finance, he tweeted positive about Ethereum, and then he tweeted positive about a shitcoin. Right, so it's just kind of like, hey, I'm still here. I'm still here. Look at me. I'm participating. Okay, that's what I see now. Now, why is this? Why is this not really like as cool as everyone thinks? Well, it's, it's kind of obvious, man. Like, look what. Firstly, look what everyone in crypto is using crypto for. Okay, <laughs> it's gambling and degeneracy. And and secondly, all these user platforms that they're, they're going to be layers on top of crypto itself. Using this base layer stuff, well, you don't care what it says. It just everything gets renamed. It's 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 like it's like a contacts list for your phone. You don't really need to buy the actual name that you have. It just doesn't matter, right? Your phone can like just tell you, okay, this person's number, just rename it to this. It's the same thing. It's like, do you remember someone's number in your phone or their digits? You don't remember their digits anymore. You just remember their name and their contacts. That's it. So that's what I'm saying. I know it's very unpopular, but I mean. Not really unpopular, be honest with me. Do you give a shit about it? No, you don't, not really. It's just fun to have these cool names. Now, I have your friend PLS. It's the same one as my ETH. But what you can do is you can go to go to Ether scan, type in your friend .eth, and it will show you what the actual address, you can get the ad, real address for it itself. So that's where people send, if you want to donate friends, you don't have to, of course, you don't have to do anything, right? But I'm just telling you, I've flipped the switch. Okay, I, I've, I've inverted how mainstream crypto trash influencers like Lady of Crypto, I've inverted how these scum things work. I, I believe so much in myself and you and what the value I'm teaching you is that instead of charging you, charging, asking you money for a mastermind, come join a mastermind group, come network with other cucks. Instead of doing that where I steal money from you and offer trash value, 
How about I give you the value for free and if you make it, you just send me some portion of what you make. Tip me one ETH in friendship, tip me whatever you want. That's up to you, okay? Now, so to you, if it's, I don't actually need it. No, it's, it's, I'm a man of my word. I really, I don't actually need, we don't need to be grifting people. And it makes no sense, by the way. If you've got five grand to your name, why the hell would I want to take $1,000 off you anyway? That makes no sense. Do you, do you know how absolutely butchering that is to your portfolio in the future to ask you to take, hey, give me 20% of what's in your savings right now? These people are trash scum. Do you know how much that's worth, friends, by the way? You know, like if Pulse, let's say Pulse does like a 40X from here, and that's just Pulse, like in the long term. Ouch. That's huge, man. A 40X, a $1,000, you're giving away 40 grand. And people say, no, no, it's not about, it's a journey, it's a journey. It's a load of BS, man. You actually tell, I've been through a lot of this junk in my life. I've seen it. It ends up nowhere. These people are all frauds. They don't have anywhere near the diamond hands that they claim. And you've already seen, friends. I've heard some stories. No, I've heard some stories. I made posts. There are hex clones where they literally took money in hex, paper hands, sell the bottom, <laughs> and then go buy other stuff. I don't care if it works or not. It's just... Ah, oh, man, this whole industry, friends, it just, what, what are you meant to do? I, I don't like showing these, this side of everyone, but I have to. I have to. It's like, I don't want you to drink and drive. I've got to show you the car crashes. It is what it is. Pulse X buy and burn, though, working in the background. Isn't that beautiful to know? It's funny. People are still going to paper hand that. I'll tell you right now. Friends, this, one thing I learned from Richard Hart's financial experiment that we call Hex, okay, <laughs> that, that's, that's gone a long way. Hopefully it goes all the way is even if you get people to say they're going to lock up long-term, they'll still pay per hand out. There's no way to game it. You cannot win unless you feel the kick in the nuts. You have to feel the kick in the nuts. These people have to, they have to be given the choice. You can't lock their money up away. You just, you can't. As you can see with the price volatility, they must pay the piper. They have to be given that option. Hey, hold them or fold them. And guess what? A lot of the weak hands fold. And you've got to sit through them paying marginally less and less and less price for this thing. You're like, oh my gosh, man, how can you sell this this low? This is what it is, right? This is in every crypto. Lesson learned for life. Also, another warning, right? Another lesson. Friends, how many times have I told you that one, I'm your friend, and two, keep your back straight, and three, the crowd's always wrong? How many times I've told you to avoid oversaturated ideas? We learned it from the Pulse Chain and Pulse X Sacrifice. You learned that firsthand. You learned it with everything else. You will get wrecked. Good luck joining the crowd. Good luck following the mainstream influencers. And th that's okay if you disagree with me. I don't care, man. I know I'm winning. I know clearly what I'm doing works. So you learn this the easy way or the hard way. A layer two bridge, Orbiter Finance. So they're backed by OKEX. Further shows how saturated Ethereum Layer 2 is by announcing they are launching their own Layer 2 network. See, I'm telling you, man, everyone's making a Layer 2 chain. Let me show you how absolutely saturated and how no value this is. You can go to this website called L2Beat. So it's L2Beat, and you can go down here, and you can click on friends. You see these? Look at this. Active projects, 37. Upcoming projects, 36. Oh my gosh. What's that? 60, 71, 72. What the hell? Over 70 layer two Ethereum chains. Wow. What are we using crypto for, friends? What are we actually using it for? Ponzi gambling, trading assets. That's what we're using it for now. Now, of course, you're going to say, oh, we're going to play games here and there. Yeah, one chain. Okay. What's the other 69 used for? I'm going to ask you them. So, look. Of course, Let, let's move the ir irony and the satire talk and I'll sh explain to you for new people out here. So what happens is because Arbitrum over here has 48% market share, what's happened is you see Ethereum has staking available, right? So if you can grab everybody's Ethereum and then you can stake it yourself, you can take the ETH yield for yourself and then give them a part of it, but keep the bonus. And also you can give them, oh, here's an airdrop and here's other utilities. Just, but first give me all the coins, give me all the coins. Now that's what all these VC scum grifter chains are doing, many of them. And what they've seen is they've seen, for example, on Arbitrum and these other chains that people are giving away hundreds of thousands of Ethereum out there. And they want a piece of the pie. Why? Because in layer, layer smart contract world, basically in alt, let's use another word, in altcoin land, Ethereum is king. All right. 
Altcoin land, Ethereum is the king of altcoins. Soylana's a VC inside a piece of trash grift chain. And everybody's like, wow, call the G. I'm going to farm my airdrop. Yeah, yeah, good luck to you. Move to the side. As soon as he starts pumping, you're all useless again. Okay. We've tried to warn them. It is what it is. Now, well done. You made that pump. You guys are going to do the wrong rotation again because everyone always does because everyone thinks that no, it's just getting started. It is what it is. Now, when it comes to these chains, what they've seen is they go, oh my God, Ethereum is the king. Ethereum has 28 billion committed here of like excess capital. Therefore, if you can just grab 1% of that 28 billion, friends, that's 280 million. That's not market cap. That's capital committed. You know, that represents, you have like a 30X multiplier on that. That's a 6 billion valuation, by the way. If you can get 1% of that, that's huge. If you can get 6 billion. And that's what these layer two chains are doing. Because what they want is, they want the Ethereum money people, the maxis, the people who binked it, the people who basically, you know, they, they did really well. Obviously, they bought Ethereum ICO or they just committed in it. And, you know, they're bullish on Ethereum with Vitalik, rightfully so. They want to say... To everybody, welcome, welcome, friends. You're all welcome here. We are Ethereum friendly. We're a layer two. But what they found is they found another way to make money. Because you're wondering, if, you, if you're a layer two, what's the point? Well, you don't have your own coin. You use the Ethereum gas coin. So Ethereum's utility is still remained. But if you look, you're a bit confused, right? You go, wait, excuse me, my friend Somi. There's a discrepancy here because Arbitrum and Optimism have a coin. Manta has a coin. Base doesn't. Metis has a coin. ZK Poop has a coin. Mantle has a coin. What's going on here? Hmm, I can't figure it out, friends. Maybe it's all the same shit. Maybe. Same poop, different smell. It's the exact same thing. They've done an idea. They're like, let's gather an amount of people. Okay, what narrative do we have to tell people to get them to gather around us? Okay, tell them we're Ethereum friendly and that this uses Ethereum gas fee and we're in a, we're a layer two. That's why, friends, that's why I show you, right, Orbiter Finance. I think they got hacked or something, by the way. I think they got hacked for like, I think it was 81 million. I think it was these guys. <laughs> now you're launching a layer two. To see, see what I mean? Now you're, now you're, this you, you are layer two, number 73. It's because, you know why, Just, you, you know why now, all right? Last thing though as well, this is most fun. Link XRP, friends, I didn't notice, Link XRP hits 0 0.29. As Sami's prophecy of Link flipping to XRP gets closer. Obviously, I haven't spoken about Link for a while. You're going to see why, because once outside of cheap zone, there's altcoin. Look, I, I don't care who you are, friends, okay? I'm not apologizing for winning. If you're going to be a little bitch and do this little restaking, begging for airdrops, bread come eating off the floor type of behavior, you're a cuck, okay? Your missus is banging half the neighborhood and your, your back is very hunched. You drink a lot of soy milk, your bones are very frail, okay? We can't help you at that point. Pulse chain's undervalued and the altcoins on there are screaming and there's some of them are still in cheap zones. Okay, so if you don't want to pay attention to that and you want to go leave your little shitty limit order on Soylana, on Jupiter Exchange and beg for an airdrop there, good luck, friends. You enjoy FTX dumping on you. You enjoy my friend Mikey Novograd taking a big fat dump on your face as well. Good luck to you. I'm just telling you, statistically and historically, the odds are against you. Big time. Big, big, big time. Okay, when my friends... <laughs> at the banter show have made weeks dedicated to this when miles has made dedicated videos to it go back and see what happened to the narrative in 2023 you don't have to go back watch my videos peppy meme coins so many of them friends i literally reported them as they happen 99 percent of you are gonna make it because you know i'm speaking to like one dude here let's enjoy link xrp this is Chainlink versus XRP's ratio. I'm going to put it on a log chart so you can see. You can see, friends, this now. <laughs> Honestly, be honest. When you see this, doesn't this just look like it's going up here? Okay. Now, this is 0 0.29. So basically, Link is almost one third of XRP. Now, I pray, man, this, this will suck. What will suck is, you know, this can go up by if, like, Link does a 2x and then... XRP drops 50%. That's going to be like very anticlimactic because I'm like, ah, oh, crap. So what we really want 
is if Link is going to do triple the performance or more of XRP, we want XRP to do a triple. So if XRP does a triple, a 3x, we want Link to do a 10x pretty much, and then that'll flip it. And then we like get the trophy, maybe that's the top, and it zooms around there. So I know some of you friends, you're in a Link, you're in XRP. Look, I, I do get comments from a lot of people in XRP. I know, guys, I know, look, I... Oh, I feel you, man. I know it's a sunk cost fallacy. You've invested so much time in this. You've believed so many narratives. You don't want to let go. That's completely okay. I don't tell you to sell anything. I don't tell you to buy anything. I'm, I'm just telling you what I will do. And what I will do is I would rotate some of my XRP. Okay. Obviously, I will do all of it, but you don't have to, man. Because look, if you like XRP and you want double your XRP, like let's say you had 100,000 XRP today and you would love the idea of 200,000 XRP, well, a potential trade idea is if you rotated a third, all right, of your XRP into Link here, and then when Link gets up here, you exited the third back into XRP, you will end up with 2X, 2X your XRP, right? So right here, so this is what I do. So sell 33% of XRP into Link. So this is what you'd be doing, just writing it down. That's what you'd be doing today, okay? So, and then up here, up here, you would sell 33% of your link to buy back your, to buy back XRP. You will get more XRP than what you swapped for, all right? So that's what's gonna happen up up at this point. That's up at this, this, this horizontal line. Now, now, here's the, obviously, the, the irony of this situation is once you, relinquish yourself of this pain of getting rid of your XRP, a third of it, by the way, not all of it, just one third. Once you finally relinquish yourself and this starts happening and you start wondering like, hey, why is Link actually going up? Oh, they actually have Swift. They actually like, it goes up with Ethereum. It's not anti-Ethereum, it's pro-Ethereum. It also goes up with the layer two chains because the layer twos need oracles to talk to themselves and do all the money markets. It goes up as more complex applications are made in crypto. See, once your brain starts to understand these and you see it going up over time, the irony is when you get here, you're not going to want to sell it back into XRP. All right. If anything, you're going to sell it back into a stable coin because Link went like a 10X or something and you're like, ah, ah, went up so much euphoria. I mean, you're not even going to say that. You're going to be saying it's gone a thousand bucks. That's the irony. But oh, that, just showing you, look, friend, this is, I can't call it free money. Nothing's free money. There's always risk. But do you, know how, do you know how lucky you are that I'm actually doing this for you? I've literally given you your fundamental thesis for XRP is that you are the currency standard of the world. Okay, the standard. What I've done is I've shown you, you know your big talking point about Swift choosing you? Okay, they've chosen someone else. Well, luckily for you, the guy that they've chosen is actually cheaper. It's literally 70% cheaper in valuation than yours. So you can rotate and go, wait a minute. If the bug eaters have chosen these guys and I rotate a third into something, which is sell 33% XRP and get into link, if they end up equaling in market cap one day, not even flipping, just equaling, you have WXRP in value. Okay, so once again, not financial advice, friends. You know, I am wearing a core cap. Like, subscribe, bell button, all catch you soon.